Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Little girl. <laughs> so, um, I'm back and I was speaking prior to this. I was talking about, like, do you want some of their bottle? <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, this bottle is so, this nipple is kind of soft. Um, <laughs> but I was talking about, like, um, energy and how people give good vibes and good energy and stuff like that. And so, you know, I noticed like anytime somebody tells you something that you don't agree with or they give you some type of critique, you know, the first thing a lot of people holler is, oh my God, they're just a hater. And so, um, I had to learn that not everyone is actually a hater. <laughs> Not everyone is a hater. Um, you know, sometimes people are actually just telling you how they feel. Sometimes people are actually telling you stuff to help you. And, you know, sometimes people just speak in their truth. And it might not be a truth that you're ready to hear or that you believe. And so, you know, in this community, there's a couple things that I've had to learn. You know, um, one was not everybody is a hater. Um, not everybody is a copycat that, um, and then some people, you know, there are people that copy you, there's people that mock you, and there's people that actually are inspired by you and they think you're great, you know? And the thing what I learned is that when people love what I love, like, you know, you guys might love Phoebe and you might want a baby like Phoebe. And you might go get a baby similar to Phoebe because you love Phoebe. And you may, and then, but it's not to outdo Phoebe. You just love Phoebe and, or like you love the things that I love and you love me. And so you might say things that I say or, you know, use certain quotes that I say like, girl, what? Or, you know, my poo-poos and stuff like that. But you don't, they don't mean it in a, Oh, I'm a copy. I'm a steal that. I'm a take that, you know, type thing in a negative way. They just actually love you. But then there are some people that will be like, oh, I'm gonna go get me a Phoebe and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her look way better than her Phoebe. Those are different kind of people. You know, those are the people that bring that negative energy. And I think that is what like makes everybody feel a certain way when they see stuff. So but you have to learn in this community you and, and in the world, you have to learn to what to block out, zone out, and what to, you know, focus in on. And so, you know, a lot of times you'll hear me say, I know people hate me. You know, I know so many people can't stand me. They get tired of hearing me say this or they don't like me, da, 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 da. And it's like people be like, oh, don't worry about that because we love you. You know, focus on us because we're the ones that love you. And not all of them that saying that actually do love me. <laughs> but it is better to focus on that than the negatives. Because it does change your energy level. And um, I don't know if I'm making sense to you guys. And I know that usually we just talk about dolls. But, you know, just straight, straight dolls. But I'm just in this zone where I'm readjusting my thoughts. Because um, what I've learned... Also, and this was just recently, and even after last night, the conversation that we had in the chat box, it was like, you know, someone said this and it, it, it resonated with me because it's so true. Every time I get on this hype or I start to feeling good about what I'm doing and the direction that I'm going, it always seemed like the devil come at me or <laughs> people come at me with a whole bunch of like, Toxicity. Is that a word? Okay, we're we gonna use it today, baby. Girl, what? <laughs> so, um, so we, we, a lot of people will come and, it, and they, sometimes people don't even know what they're doing or what they're saying is affecting the next person. So, I realized that even just interacting with someone that's just negative, 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 really drained me to the point of where I just, don't even want to do anything like it just takes 
all desire from me everything like you just don't want to it it just it 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 discourages you and it makes you just want to back away from everything so you have to protect your space and you know there are people that if if you have friends and they are there for you through every cycle of your life and when i say there for you like they're cheering you down it's cheering you down cheering you on when you're down they're like come on you can do this they're encouraging you they're they're giving you encouragement i'm not saying that they, everybody have to be your cheerleader but you know what i mean if you do go to them they're going to give you something that's going to encourage you they're not going to beat you down and make you feel worse um even if they may say you know you brought this on yourself so to speak but you know what you got to do from here you know that's what a real friend does. Um, and then when you're something good is going on in your life that doesn't here wait here, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Let me let me let me put you on the right bus, baby. Let me put you on the right bus. Not the people that cheer you on when there's a benefit in it for them. Okay? If it if they if if those people can cheer you on when there's absolutely no benefit for them no benefit for them and they are still cheering you on you might want to keep those type people around they might just be real friends you know what i mean even if they will tell you about your behind or whatever behind the scenes but if those are the people that will cheer you on even when it's not a benefit for them those may be your friends or people that's for you some people are for you only when you're fighting for the same cause or you're in a like-minded situation at the time. But when someone always disappear, when things start going good for you, or they're never there to congratulate you on, you know, your success or whatever, or your next step or whatever, they might not be genuinely the people that's really happy for you. So I was looking at Brown Sugar post the other day and she posted and it was this picture and it was these two little girls and they were standing there and they were clapping. But the the one of the little girls had her face all twisted up and she was clapping, but she was like basically giving the other one the side eye, like, but still clapping. And it was like something to the effect of like everybody just clapping is not really you know, happy for you or there for you. And it's, it's very true. And so me and my other friends, we kind of had a debate about the fact that they used a kid in that photo. And so it kind of made me second guess myself that I was loving that picture and all that and stuff. So I said, you know, just to be clear, because, you know, everybody like watches everything you do and then they'll be like, oh, she, you know, she da 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 da. So I said, despite that they use kids, you know, this is very true. And then she, Brown Sugar broke it down to me and said, you know what? But I believe that this starts from when children, when, um, when people are from children or from when they're young, when they're young and then they, it manifests into them as adulthood if not corrected. And so we were kind of having a, you know, a little bit of debate about it, you know, me and someone else and, you know, about how true that is because you know children are children and they do do things and then they grow but I can tell you as a mother of five that some of the things and the bad habits that my children had as children some of their traits the characteristic traits that they had as children has manifested into them as adults some things I was I tried my hardest to correct but was not able to correct some things I didn't put a lot of emphasis on correcting that particular behavior because I didn't think it was that big of a deal has manifested into something else, you know, or bigger. So it is very true. Sometimes kids, if you see a kid that's always like selfish, always taking stuff and never want to share that grows up. They grow up to be a selfish adult too. Sometimes. Yeah. Kids go through phases, but we become who we are and we grow into this and this, this behavior becomes you know our personality and that characteristic i'm not a psychology psychologist 
I'm not a psychiatrist. And, you know, I can't even say the words half of the time. So, therefore, <laughs> I'm just talking from just life experience. And sometimes life experience is way better than the books we read. Okay. Y'all better watch. Is y'all... Get into it. Now, get into it. <laughs> so, I'm just saying that... And then sometimes, do you know, some people don't realize how toxic their behavior is. Or some people are jealous of other people and don't realize it. And some people are behaving because, okay, so let's let's say, and, and it's just for Pete's sakes. So you got these two little girls, and one is, to society, considered to be not so cute. But the sister is always the real cute one. And every time growing up, everybody always praised the cute one. I always said the other one was cute. da 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 da, -da. That other child develops a not enough complex. And sometimes they don't realize that they feel that way. And so when as they get older, anytime they see someone getting a lot of attention, it triggers that inner emotion that they have never dealt with and make them feel that same way about that person as they did growing up as a child and being the one left behind. So I think that sometimes... You know, and I, and I and it's just me. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, and I do actually sometimes just don't want to just be like so quick to be like write someone off. But at some point, you can't save the world, and at some point, you gotta let people go because you can't fix everything. You can't fix everyone. You know, I'm the type of person I feel like okay, you know, well, you know, she's. She's a little negative or she's, you know, sometimes she's, you know, kind of hateful, but, you know, she has some good points about herself. So I always want to see the better, the best in people and I'll try, but I ain't 100 stable, you know, I cannot, and I, and I have to keep telling myself, I cannot do it. I can't ever, everybody can't be saved. Everybody don't want to be saved. And some people just, you know, you need to just let them pass on through. And as I was telling them last night, sometimes we be holding on to stuff and holding on to people in our life that's actually blocking our blessings. And they are hindering us from who we are destined to become. Because we're so busy letting them keep draining us and knocking us back. And like another viewer said, it actually slows you down. So if you stop looking back and stop letting these people speak into your spirit and speak into your mind, you'll actually see yourself growing and moving further. I have been in a bubble for months and haven't really, really been deeply in tune with people. And I feel like I've been at my best. But the moment I let start letting people back in and start interacting I can feel myself going right back down into that dark hole to where I feel drained, I feel depressed, I feel stressed, I feel like I don't want to do nothing anymore, I don't want to paint, I don't want to root, I don't want to dress my babies, I don't want to be a part of this hobby, I hate this hobby, I hate the people in it. You know, you start feeling all this stuff because you got all this negative energy coming from these people and it just turns your whole brain around. Okay, some of y'all gonna say, oh, not me. I don't let people in like that and all this and blah, 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 because you're stronger than that, right? But if you keep letting people, if, if, if you keep feeding you and feeding you and feeding you and feeding you that energy, eventually it wears you down. Trust me. I have tried and thought that I'm so bubbly and goofy that I can overcome it all. But it does beat you down. I may not be making sense to y'all. I may be all over the place. But look at this little girl. Look at, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> but I took, I, you know what I did? I, I took the time and I said, time out. And I had to refocus my refocus myself. So I got in here and I started dressing my babies. And I just started to try to bleed, breathe and relax. And try to remember where I was going before these people made me feel the way that I felt. And so, and I, I started to feel better. But last night I was still not quite there because I was just 
processing a lot of stuff that has happened over the courses of the weeks. And then, but today I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to inhale, take it all in and exhale and let it all out. And then I'm going to just shut down from personal interactions with almost everyone for right now that are my customers. And I'm going to start reading the prototype baby. Um, well, I have, I can't start right now, but I'll start at night and I will, once I start doing that, that's going to be my downtime. And in between, you know, I'll clean my area. Cause that's what I do, you know, be between babies and videos and stuff like that. I'll have to really clean everything up and that makes me feel better. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to finish Jolie. I'm going to work on Jolie. I love that baby. I love that sculpt. And I'm going to pour all my love into that baby. And I'm going to give her everything that I have left <laughs> in me. Okay. Not, that sounded so dramatic. I'm so extra. But you know what I mean. Like I'm going to enjoy the process. And then I'm going to add Alex. And then I'm going to keep going and keep going and keep going and whatever it is that when the first of the year if god bless me to wake up and see another year i am going to move forward with the plans that i originally had before i allow people to upset my spirit a lot of people don't know who i am i don't even think sometimes i know who i am but what I do know is that I don't come from a ruthless or cold or um, malicious place. Things that I do, I do it out of fun, out of laughter, spontaneous, just being myself, being real. I am a little bit blunt, um, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> um, but, and so it... It throws me off when other people have different ways. I have done things and, and, and <laughs> oh my God, I'm not going to even get into that. But, you know, like I say, it doesn't matter at this point. Well, we're going to move forward. And my, my battery is going completely dead. So we'll chat later. I don't even know if I'll upload this to the gym pop, but there it is. <laughs> 